if the first and the third of three odd consecutive integers are added, the result is 87 less than five times the second integer. Find the third integer. Uh, first thing I want you to notice here, these are odd integers, okay? Uh, for instance, on pages of a book, uh, if you went from one odd page to the next, let's see what we do here. Uh, page one, what's the next odd integer? One, three, five, seven, right? You go to three, wouldn't you? What do you do with one to get up to three? You add two to it, don't you? So your next odd integer is three. Adding two to this, you're going to get the next one's five. Adding two to that, you're going to get seven. The point is, if you start off with the first odd integer, to get to the next one, you must add what? Not one, but what? Two. So if this is the first odd integer, then this is the second odd integer. All right? Um, so my odd integers, first is x, x plus 2 would be the second one, and if you add 2 to this, you're going to have x plus 4, and that's going to be the third odd integer. Now let's look at our word problem. If the first integer, which one's the first? x, and the third, that would be x plus 4, okay, you're going to do what with those? You're going to add them says they are added, okay? So here's your first and there's your third, and you add them and the result is, meaning it equals 87 less than, so we're gonna take away 87 from what? From five times the second. So we want five times the second integer, and what is the second integer? X plus this number here. So here is your equation, and we want to know what is the third integer, all right? So let's copy that up here, and we'll get rid of my parentheses, get rid of the parentheses. To do that, we're going to go 5 times x plus 5 times 2, and don't forget your negative 87, all right? So x and x is 2x. That's 5x minus 77. Okay. So now we're going to subtract the smaller of the two x's here. Look at your um, 2x and your 5x. Which one's smaller? 2x is smaller, isn't it? You're comparing 2x and 5x, and 2x is the smaller. So this is the one we're going to get rid of with the opposite. We're going to put a minus 2x here and over here. So we'll bring down the 4 and the equals. We're going to get 3x here. Bring down the, the negative 77. Okay. Now we're going to add 77 to both sides. Before we do that, let's move it up to the top. Okay. Now, I said add 77. Why am I adding 77? Well, you ask yourself the question, what number is right next to the x? I'm not talking about the 3 because that's the coefficient. That's the last number you'll get rid of. Other than the 3, so don't say 3. Other than the 3, what number is by the x? The minus 77. We need to get rid of this number by adding 77 here and here. When you add these, you get 81 equals, bring down the 3x. Now we're going to get rid of the 3. Now you get rid of the coefficient. Divide this by 3 and divide this by 3. So this goes 27 times, that's x. So let me write this to say x equals 27. That's your first odd integer. Your next odd integer is two more than that. What is two more than 27? Add two to 27 and get 29. Then add four to 27. Four plus 27 is 31. So I have 27, 29, 31, the third odd integer is 31.